Hello everyone, this is Nork the Childe here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. So, I haven't made a Let's Play video since May, and that's not good. I really didn't have anything else to do except do the Achievement Adventuring Time, and I didn't really want to do that fully, so I don't know if I'm going to end up doing that. But a few days ago, <laughs> the Combat Update 1.9 came out. Now, I didn't make a video then because, you know, I was busy with school, and then yesterday I made the video about YouTube, so that's why I'm doing it today. But, or two days ago, it depends when I upload this, I'm recording this on Wednesday, uh, but the 1.9 combat update has been added. Now, all this stuff will be new to me because I am i haven't played in any of the snapshots. Unlike with 1.8, I played in the snapshots before the update came out, and when it came out, you know, nothing new uh, it was exciting, and I love the feeling of getting a big update and having it be exciting uh, with Minecraft, so that's why I held off on this one. But I'm just going to read here, uh, you know, the stuff in the list uh, to start off the video. So Minecraft 1.9 Combat Update. Minecraft has been updated to version 1.9. The pretty much almost complete feature list. Sounds like something Dorami would say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Alright, added shields. Added... No, add, okay, added shields. Attacking now has a cooldown delay, making it more important to time your attacks. That's cool. You can now hold items in both hands. Default quick key to swap items is F, so you can switch the items that uh, are in your hands with F. It's cool. The one you're selecting, I mean. Swords have a special sweep attack. Ooh. Axes have a special crushing blow attack. Ooh. Added the elytra. Ooh. New mob. Shulker. Ooh. Expanded the end. Ooh. Added chorus plants. Those things are kind of kind of cool. New pure pure blocks like pure pura by Jazor. Um, some of these things I don't entirely know. Some things I do know. Some things I don't know. So new pure pure blocks. New end rod block. Added dragon head block. Ender dragon can be resummoned. That's cool. Added beetroot and beetroot soup from Minecraft Pocket Edition. That's good. Another food source. Added grass path block. Added igloos. Wait, igloos? Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. I know that Eskimos live on the North Pole and that's where, they're ig that's where igloos are, but... It would be so cool to build a penguin igloo. Okay. All right. I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> Armor protection values have been lowered. Ooh. Added tipped arrows. That's cool. Spectral arrows. Ooh. Added spectral arrows. Added frost walker enchantment and frosted ice block. Okay. Frost walkers is kind of cool. I haven't heard about that ice block. Added a whole bunch of new sound effects. Added sound effect subtitles. Oh, that's kind of... That's, that's kind of cool. Brewing stand now requires blaze powder to activate. Wait, what? No! No! Okay, I'm sure it'll be fine. Added skeleton riders, that's cool. We believed we fixed MC10 and a whole bunch of other issues and removed Hero Brian. Of course, everyone knows at this point that Hero Brian is fake and they just include that, you know, just for fun. The Minecraft team. Alright, so that is, um, that is all the new things in 1.9 Combat Update. Not really too big. But uh, I think it's going to be a really cool update. Let me change uh, my profile here uh, to 1.9, uh, release 1.9, save that. And we're ready to play 1.9. Let me jump into a world, and I will see you guys later. Alright guys, so I opened up a new world. I, I know that uh, it's kind of sad to leave the old world behind, but I might revisit it someday. Alright, so let me open my inventory first. And... Oh yeah, I do have the sound subtitles on, so let me change that music and sounds subtitles off. Alright, so let's see what we got here. We got a nice little mountain, we got some trees, we got some pigs, we got a swamp, we got... Got a lot of good stuff. So let's just start by smacking some wood. That's how everyone starts playing Minecraft, smacking some wood. Even in 1.9, that's the first thing you gotta do, just smack, smack trees. Smack all them trees to get the wood. So I am excited to try out a lot of the new things in 1.9. I did make a world uh, before this, so I do have a little bit of experience with dual wielding and the new combat and stuff, but for the most part, uh, it's pretty much, you know, I just, I'm jumping into this uh, blindly. 
So it's going to be a uh, quite ex quite an exciting experience. I'm going to keep it locked on normal. I'm going to lock that difficulty there. Um, keeping it locked on normal, so we can have a nice normal experience and one that isn't too easy or one that isn't too hard. So that is good. Um, let's see. I don't really want to get birch. I kind of just want to keep the same wood to save inventory space. Um, but yeah. Hopefully you guys are happy that I'm making a new Minecraft video. I don't know. Um, I felt like there was little to do left in Minecraft. Um, except like Mineplex Monday and stuff. Uh, but you know, 1.9 came out. So I was excited to, um, you know, start playing survival again. Maybe I'll do some creative things. Uh, I, w well, I was planning to make a hardcore series. But I was planning to do that, um... After I finished the Minecraft Story Mode series, because Episode 5 has not come out yet, so I wanted to do that after that series had ended. Alright, so we got a bunch of our new oak wood here. You can see this slot. This is the uh, dual wielding slot. I'll show you guys a little bit about that later. So, first I'm going to create our preliminary tools. Very simple. We got a nice pickaxe. We got a nice hoe. We got a nice sword. I don't know. I made another thing of wood there. All right. So now we are going to get to try out the dual wielding ability. So I'm going to take my pickaxe and put it in this slot. There you can see on the left in my hand I have a nice little pickaxe. You can see it there. And if I press F, they switch. So. Whichever one is in my right hand, I can use. So right now I'm using the pickaxe. Right now I'm using the sword. And also another thing that's interesting down uh, in the bottom right of the hot bar, I can put this under my crosshair, but I decided to put it down by my hot bar. I might change it. But you can see that little like loading meter thing. This basically means you cannot spam click anymore. Well, you can spam click, but uh, you can't spam click, and it and uh, it being the same effective as it would be before. This meter is still at the bottom. So it's more effective to charge it up like that, and then that, and then that. Because it's already like charged up, so you get more power out of each blow instead of like spamming. You also can't block anymore. I'm pressing right click. You can't block with a sword. You have to craft... Craft... You have to craft a shield to do that. Alright, so let me... Start getting some stone here. Ooh, we uncovered a nice block of coal. That's good. That is wonderful. That is very wonderful. Also, guys, I'm sorry that I'm not recording the game sound. I, th uh, I thought I'd try to do, try to do it, but it's a little hard to, uh, you know, record separate audio files for game sound and my voice, and then piece them over together. I don't really have any effective way to do it at the same time, so that's why I didn't want to do it. Um, but you know, the game sound, it's not. It's not like you're missing out on, like, everything. It's not too much stuff to miss out on. And you get to hear my wondrous voice, so... Yeah. That is definitely a plus. Because a lot of you guys think my voice is really good. I don't know why. I mean, I don't know why it's better than anyone else's voice, but... I'm glad you guys like my voice. I don't know. Because that's, you know, that's what I do. I do commentary, so it's good that, you know, people enjoy the sound of my commentary. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Alright, we got some nice, nice amount of coal. Gonna make, oh shoot, gonna make some torches, some torches, torch, throw the torch up there, and let's get out of this hole. Um, let's see, is this a cave? Is this a little cave? I'll light it up anyway. That looks like a cave. And yep, that is definitely a big hole, big cave. Ooh, that's like black down there. Interesting. Gonna go check that out. Gonna go explore. Um, I n when I play Minecraft, I sort of tend to uh, cave first. I don't know if that's the best idea because a lot of people, you know, build houses first, and I feel like I might want to do that. But I do like caving first to kind of you know it's relaxing to you know get a good start uh, by just getting some resources, and uh, you know it's something that. Uh, I, don't know, I feel like it just gets you off to a good start before you like start making a house. Also, another thing, your food meter does go down a lot faster, which I kind of like. It makes it a little bit harder. Combat is a lot harder. At night, it is pretty hard. Um, 
skeletons are just super OP because, you know, you can't really, like, spam hit and then just the timing and stuff, it makes it a lot harder and uh, you can't, you can't really just um, go out at night and be that confident anymore. You sort of have to be a little careful. And that's how it really used to be. Like, before I even got Minecraft, what, like, three years ago, um, before I even got it, the combat was super hard, and, like, going out at night was, like, a huge risk you took, and you would really stay inside, uh, like, the whole night. So, I guess it's kind of good they're bringing it back to that, um, because, you know, then it was sort of an initiative to get better. Now you can just, like, go out with a wooden sword, or you, in one point eight you could go out with a wooden sword and just be like, oh, I'll just wreck some people. Wreck some mobs. So, yeah. I guess it's good that it's a little harder. Alright, so we got 11 iron. That was a little nice starter uh, experience cave system thing there. But now I want to find a good place to build a house. I want to build it up there because, you know, that's a cool spot. But I also want to build it, like, down here. So I really don't know exactly where I should build it, but I think I'm going to build it up there. It's just a cool location, so might as well use it. So, yeah, you can see my food meter is definitely going down a lot. It's already down four, I don't know what to call those things, like ham sticks? I don't even know. <laughs> That's a cool, like, valley thing there. More iron. More caves. Ooh, this is cool. It's like conjoined cave, but it's like separated a little bit. Um, I'm going to throw a few torches around here to, like, mark it. I'm, I'm going to come back to this. don't want to explore a huge cave right now. Um, so we'll just leave it like that. Alright, so... I feel like first, actually, I should, like, start getting some wood. So I can build a house. I don't want to build a house out of dirt. Right, guys? Guys? Right? Right? <sighs> Okay. This is, oh, another cave? Another one? Another one. Actually, I should use this opportunity to get, to get coal. Because I, I just sort of like to get set up first before I build a house. Because I feel like if I build a house and I don't have the right stuff in the beginning, it's harder, you know, to have a house and then get set up. Unless you're, like, setting up and then building a house. I feel like that's better. I feel like that's a little bit better. So guys, goals for this series, I really don't know, I mean, it's sort of like a continuation of my Minecraft adventure, so this is like episode 40, basically, but it's on a different world, and it's, um, you know, in a new update, so a lot of things have changed, I might go back to the old world a little bit to try to complete Adventuring Time, I haven't really found um, good ways to do it, and I don't know if I'll ever do it, if I'll ever do it, I still have the list um, of all the biomes I visited and stuff, but, you know, it's just like a tedious process, and it's not really enjoyable, so I don't know if I'll do it. Uh, it would be cool to get all the achievements in the game, but Adventuring Time, it's kind of a tedious one, and one that I don't think would be really fun to record. So, I don't know if I'll continue it. But goals for this series, um, I, I don't know if I'll necessarily want to get all the achievements uh, again a second time, but I definitely want to try to do as many um, things that are new uh, as possible. So, as many things that are new in the combat update. So that includes things like um, going to the end, um, because after you defeat the Ender Dragon, so many new things pop up uh, for you to try. Um, maybe in this episode, I'll, uh, uh, maybe in this episode, I'll build like a boat or something, and we can uh, test out that um, shields, dual wielding. Uh, but really, once you go to the end and defeat the Ender Dragon, that's when a lot of the possibilities spring up for you, because you get a lot of new blocks, you get the Elytra, you get Dragon's Breaths, so you can make Lingering Potions and all that stuff. So, you know, it's sort of... I don't know if it's a good thing how they're making it, like, after the end, um, the possibilities open up for you more, I guess. Um, I guess that sort of makes the game um, better, because, you know, you continue, you can continue playing it after you basically defeat the final boss, even though, you know, there is the Wither and stuff, but... I feel like that's uh, it's sort of good how they're doing that to keep the game fresh even after, you know, you've defeated the main boss. I think it's a smart idea. Smart. Alright, so the sun is setting. We don't have a house. And as I was telling you guys, combat is really hard at night. So I'm going to have to hole up somewhere. I don't know exactly where I should because I don't... 
I don't know, maybe I'll stay in one of those caves down there and just cave the whole night, but I don't know if I should actually do that. Um, but yeah, it, it it is dangerous at night, honestly, guys. If I, if I keep like this, I'm going to die. So I don't know exactly what I should do. I got a bunch of chickens over there. I do need some food. We are running out of food, so that's not a good thing. There's a bunch of sheep over there. I should actually smelt some iron so then I can make a bed. Oh, I should have put two there. Right, I'm going to smelt some iron so I can make a bed. I don't want to stay through this whole night. I'm going to have to sleep it out. Uh, I could, you know, just dig a hole through here, but I think we're fine. It's actually a nice little area we got here. I could really develop this whole area into something really cool if I wanted and if it took enough time to do it all. Alright, well, let's craft some of the new stuff. So, first I will craft a boat. Unlike the um, Pocket Edition, you don't need a shovel to craft it. So I got an oak boat there. Um, I'm not sure how you craft a shield. Is a shield like... Hold on. I think a shield is like that. No, what is a shield? It's like something with wood and iron, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I will make some shears. Um, should I jump off this mountain? I don't know if I'll be able to get back up, so I'm just going to wait until this finishes smelting. And we'll be good to go. I'm trying to look for any mobs, uh, hostile mobs that I can see. Oh, I think that's a skeleton over there. Skeletons are super dangerous in... <laughs> in the new update, really, they're just like a versatile mob that can definitely ruin your night slash day. You know, if you find them in a cave during. The okay, <laughs> I'm. I feel like my commentary is lacking today. It's not the best. I'm trying to because when you start a Minecraft world, you don't really have too many things to talk about besides like what you're gonna do, and it's kind of boring once you first start. But I always do like the feeling of starting a new Minecraft world. It gives me a sense of renewability. Um, and makes me feel fresh and, and clean. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Alright, so we got this stuff. Broken. Don't have anything in this slot. I'm going to put something in there. And let's go down safely. Or we could try to jump into the water, but... Meh. Should we do it? <laughs> got it. Got it. Alright. Uh, okay, so... I think there was a skeleton over there, but I need to go grab some shears. Grab some wool with my shears. Alright. Alright, sheep. Got two from you. Alright, you can't go through entities anymore. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, I'm getting hungry. That's why. So there's a th new thing in 1.9 that I completely forgot about. That I haven't really tested because I forgot about it, obviously. But that is, you can't go through other... um other like mobs or other players so before you know you were able to go through other people but now if you try to brush up against them it won't allow you to do that so first I'm just gonna place down a bed I'm gonna sleep what why like oh I can't sleep if I'm hungry okay alright that's not that's not good die sheep die alright so here you can see I had to save up my hit there, so I was more effective. And there's a zombie. And I am scared. <laughs> this is not good. I really should have built a house first. It's not good to go caving first in 1.9 like this. Uh, let me put some pork chops in there. And this is not good. If I get hit, I'm going to die. Alright. I, I cannot get hit, guys. The zombies are not good. Alright. So you can see those little heart particles that fly off, so that was kind of cool, I guess, um, but yeah, I killed my first zombie, I feel good, alright, let me eat these pork chops, please, please, and rotten flesh, and it didn't poison me, there you go, that is great, there we go, okay, uh, got another pork chop there, um, alright, so now I'm fully regened, that is good, um, I should make a, oh wait, did I leave, where's my crafting table, oh, it's back down there at my bed, all right, let me sleep really quickly. I don't want that skeleton to get aggroed. Okay, oh, you can see my little feet. Oh, that's cool. All right, and it's morning. Yay. What a good night's sleep. I slept right next to the water with a skeleton up there. I felt very safe, guys. Oh, this is a little cool hidey hole. Cool. 
All right, yeah, so you can see my hunger has already gone down a little bit, so... Yeah, it goes down a lot faster. And there's a creeper. And I'm running. I am running really quickly. Yeah, so I can't go through any of these pigs. See, I'm, like, trying to push them. You know, I can't go through them. If they really wanted to be mean, they just push me back, but they don't, so that's good. All right, so I feel like I should kill a bunch of these pigs. Pigs aren't um, a versatile mob, that, like mushrooms or cows, so I'm not going to keep a bunch of them around, but... You know, I, c I, can, I can afford to slay a few. That's fine. So yeah, the new combat, I do kind of enjoy it. It's a little harder, which I do like. And it sort of adds a component of, um, like, tactical skill, like when to hit and when not to hit. And I feel like it'll be good for um, maps and things like that and uh, PvP. But uh, although Mindplex has um, not changed their combat to 1.9 yet, they're, they're keeping it at 1.8, I think it'll be hard for them to balance out all their games um, with the new combat. It'll definitely be something that people have to get used to. Oh god, that creeper blew up. I wanted to kill it. New. No. Alright, well at least we'll at least happy that it didn't blow up us. <laughs> Alright, well guys, I think that will be the end of this first uh, video in the combat update i didn't do too much stuff uh you know i sort of just you know got a few resources to get set up i didn't build a house yet i'll start building a house next episode and uh we'll explore some of the new stuff in this update so i'm gonna end this by checking out the new boats that don't break if you hit into anything so that is also a new plus and you got these nice ore animations but it's a little harder to control the boat it's a little bit more sensitive but I do like it. So, guys, it has been your friendly neighborhood penguin, North the Child. I haven't said that in a long time. But it has been North the Child, guys. In the new 1.9 Minecraft update, leave a like if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Goodbye.